<sighs> What's up ladies and suckers? It's TV365 and welcome to another episode of TV Pet Peace And this is some Deadpool gameplay. This is a very fun game, very bloody, gruesome, maturated, fun time, good comedy game. It's a very very all around good game. Very enjoyable. I suggest it. But it's not about the gameplay today, YouTube. This is about my pet peeves. And today, the focus will be driving. Skr skr! <laughs> so let's get right into it, man. First pet peeves. My first pet peeve. Let's set this one up for a little bit. Now, I'm a scary driver. Like, I'll, I'm not saying I'm a scary driver. I'm saying I, I, I drive scared. Like I drive really slow, I drive really conservative, I always look both ways like three times. I go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, straight, left, right, left. You know, I'm looking every single direction there is. I'm a very conservative driver because I'm scared of these people. I'm scared of these people when they're completely focused, when, they're, when they all look like they're ready to drive, I'm scared of them. Now, if you put a phone in their face, boy, I am frightened. Think about it. Someone driving with a phone in their freaking face, texting, looking at, scrolling on Instagram, doing what they're doing. That is freaking dangerous as hell, man. I am scared out of my mind. So that's why people on their phones is my first pet peeve when it comes to driving. I can't stand it. I don't even care if you're just talking, man. Something could happen. You be like, man, F this life. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> Yeet. Drive me off the road and freaking I'll be freaking having my toes in my mouth my freaking butt for a head You know what I'm saying like, I'll be looking ugly look like freaking that dude from the Goonies goofy old looking old freaking burnt up Krispy Kreme looking old, but I don't want none of that. I want to be myself. I want to be healthy, man I want to be you know me. I don't want to be looking like oh, I'm gonna stop that but the thing is to get straight to the point to cut past all the the cream get right to the cook you know what I'm saying uh, it, it, when you drive when people do this it just annoys me it makes me angry and I think people should stop I think you should focus on the road because you never know what could happen you know take your eyes off for a second to like a cat video and then you freaking look like a cat bro on the dead on the side of the freeway you know what I'm saying man it's vicious man these roads are freaking crazy man drivers are crazy so why try to handicap yourself in this crazy world by putting a phone in front of your face so that's the first pet peeve second pet peeve when it comes to driving is them dang rubbernecks them freaking rubbernecks now if you guys don't know where rubberneck is it's basically when an accident happens and the accident is already there cleaned up the accident the accident all clean everything is all everybody's taking the safety everybody hopefully is okay and there's just the rep the this cars on the side of the road they have to you know get the cars out the way and that is that alone creates traffic that just cars being on the side of the freeway creates traffic because people look over to see what's going on they look over like i swear i was in 40 minutes of traffic i look on my phone no accident they said there was an accident but it's all cleaned up so i'm like why is there traffic why is there traffic i get closer i look up there's no accident no cops no nothing and now we drive i'm driving and it's still traffic, and the traffic starts to clear up a little bit. And I look to the side, there's like three cars piled up on each other on the side of the road. I'm like, what the heck? And all these, that's the reason for all this traffic. Everybody was looking over to the side, getting out of the, in other people's business, putting that big old nostrils in the people's, being all nosy and stuff. Stick to your own thing. Keep your eyes on the road, man. Man, people got places to be, man. We don't got time for you to be rubbernecking, looking to see, oh, darling. Oh, darling, look at those cars, darling. The accident gone. The cops got all cleaned up. You just called people in, cleaning up cars off the freeway. Why you gotta look over and see that? People trying to get moving. So that's why I hate people rubbernecking, looking over. They always do that. You see them looking over too, like, ooh. And they, they don't just look over for a quick second. No, I look over. I do look over. I'll tell you that. I do look over, but it's like for a quick left, right. No, like a little quick right. Mm, boom. That's it. These people, their neck, they about to damn near break their dang neck. They're like, accident. <laughs> break their dang neck. Looking over for like a good three minutes is looking. Looking. This car's on the side of the freeway. I didn't know that was it's so entertaining, boy. Go watch a monster show, monster truck show or something. You want to see some crushed cars. But let's move on. Next thing. 
these suckers not using their mm, I'm about to cuss mm, Jesus help me these suckers not using the dang signals I swear I swear there has to be something out there there has to be a car out there that you have to freaking Flick right, flick left, flick this way, flick this way, flick that way just to activate your signal because these people act like signaling is the hardest thing in the world. I swear there has to be something wrong with their signals, man. People, nobody signals. This is something that I, I, it's rare when you see a signal. It's rare when someone's on the freeway and they try to get over you see a signal. When you see that yellow flashing light, it's rare. It's rare. Usually people that skirt is cut you off. Don't even care. They just don't even care. They don't even know to just use the signal. I swear there has to be something wrong in people's car. There has to be my car just my car you just flick it. Other people you might have to put that left, right, GTA freaking cheat code to activate the signal on this sucker. People act like it's the hardest thing in the world, boy. It's not rocket science. Flick the thing, you go left. Flick the thing up, you go right. It's not that freaking hard, bro. People act like it's the hardest thing in the world. And then they beep at you when it when when you don't let them over. I can't let you over if I don't know you wanna get over. I can't read minds. Well I can't I'm not Professor Xavier. I don't put my hand on your head if you know what you're thinking. People get all angry at me. Let me over beeping at me. Boy, you never signal. How am I supposed to know? So, that's the main thing. People don't freaking signal, man. It's not that hard. I signal when I'm thinking about getting over. So, I, I always signal. Like, if I say, I should go in the left lane. Flip on the signal. And so, I leave it on for, I let it marinate so people can see with their eyeballs. But, and that's another thing. Some people use their signal and they flick it on real quick and then move over. There's no point. There's no point. When you deflect the signal on while you're moving. There's no point while you're moving over to the next lane you flick the signal on. Hope that makes sense, man. But please, I'm going to calm down. I'm, just use your signal. All right. You About two seconds before you're about to go over, flick that signal on. Make sure everything is clear. Switch lanes. Hopefully that made sense. I kind of got out of hand. Got a little crazy. But hope you guys liked the video. Comment, rate, subscribe. TV pet peeves. Coming soon.